Chapter 102 of Chainsaw Man starts with Mitaka and Yuko running away from the Bat Devil. Mitaka gets knocked down, Yuko gets knocked out and impaled through her shin, and a random woman gets absolutely obliterated. Yoru tries to convince Mitaka to kill Yuko and use her as a weapon. Since Yuko can no longer run, she would just be dead weight. Yoru then pushes harder, claiming that Mitaka didn't feel bad for killing Bucky. She only felt bad because she was seeing. And here, there are no witnesses. Yoru may be trying to gaslight Asa, but from what we've seen, her conclusions does seem consistent. After Bucky's death, Mitaka wasn't thinking about Bucky at all. She was thinking about the animosity from her classmates. Finally, Yoru reminds Mitaka of her wishes to live more selfishly. However, Mitaka disobeys Yoru and tries to run with Yuko. But unfortunately, she doesn't make it very far and trips immediately. We then get flashbacks of Mitaka's life and how she always trips during important situations. She tripped while she was bringing someone's birthday cake to the table. She tripped while she was ahead during a race at a sports festival. And she tripped when she and her mom were running from a devil. When Mitaka and her mother were running from what looks like the typhoon devil, Asa stops to rescue an injured cat. She fell over while picking up the cat and she was saved by her mother, who pushed Asa out of the way, but died for it. Mitaka got her mom killed, but risking her life to save a cat proves that Yoru was wrong about her. We then get another flashback to when Yuko gave Mitaka her shoes. Mitaka expressed that she didn't want to be pitied, but Yuko didn't care about how her actions make Mitaka feel. She just wants to do what she thinks is right. And this is what Mitaka thinks living selfishly is. It's to do what you think is right, regardless of the consequences and what other people may think. Mitaka and Yuko are caught and eaten by the Bat Devil. This is where the chapter should end, but surprise, there are 52 pages this week. Mitaka and Yuko are saved by Denji who unintentionally knocks a giant cockroach devil into the bat devil, squishing and killing the bat devil for the second time. Denji and the cockroach devil demolish another building, and the devil asks Denji why he is siding with humans. The zombie devil asked him the same thing in chapter 1. The cockroach devil thinks that Denji wants to be a superhero and tries to make him choose between saving a student or saving a car full of seniors. This is a reference to the first Spider-Man movie, where the Green Goblin made Peter choose between saving Mary Jane or saving a car full of children. In Spider-Man's case, he rescued both Mary Jane and the kids. However, Denji did the complete opposite, where he lets everyone die so that he can finish off the cockroach devil. He then rescues a cat that was hanging off the building. The title of this chapter is Save the Cat. Denji and Mitaka both save cats, but they've caused people to die while doing it. For Denji, it was the cockroach devil's victims, while for Mitaka, it was her mother. Because this chapter is 52 pages long, this should conclude volume 12 of Chainsaw Man. I'll be making another video going over the philosophy of Denji, Mitaka, and Spider-Man. That video should be coming out either later today or tomorrow.